Hello Leos, and this is your reading for August 2018. So if any of you out there are a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, this spread is for you. Um, if you are on the cusp of a Cancer Leo, um, you may wanna see my Cancer video as well as this video when I get my Cancer video out um, because they both might be resonating with you. And not all um, readings resonate with everyone. So um, if you would like your own personal reading from me, my link is below in the description bar and you can book a reading with me. Um, I also, in what you see here is also, I do make uh, charged selenite crystal wands. I have different themes and the link is below if you would like to order one. Um, Anyhow, let's get to your reading. So my readings will be a little bit uh, more simpler, simple this month. Um, I've been very, very busy with feng shui readings and a lot of work and um, anyhow. So let's, uh, for your work in business category, I drew the Knight of Wands. For your money and finance category, I did draw the Ace of Pentacles or Ace of Coins. Um, for love and relationships, I drew the World card. And your advice card for this month is the High Priestess. Um, a lot of changes. So we're going to start with um, your work and business. Now, some of you may not uh, work right now. You might be stay-at-home parents, or you might just be um, just retired already, or you're looking for work. Um, for those of you who choose not to work and do not have to work, this might be somebody that you're living with that will affect you, okay? This might be a spouse or a family member, etc., or someone very close to you that their work might be affecting you because, again, not everybody works. Some people don't need to work and some people are out of work and they're looking for a job or some people already work. So this applies to all of you, okay? It may not resonate with all of you, but anyhow. So with work and business, with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is, um, he's a very self-confident type person. Um, he brings in a lot of fire energy. And a lot of times, the way I read them, the Knights can also symbolize people and situations coming and going in and out of your life, okay? So there has been a many, or what I'm seeing here, is there has been a lot of coming and going. So there might have been some changing of minds for some of you. Some of you might have started a job, then quit that job, then started another job. Um, there might be a lot of travel associated with the kind of job that you're working at at the moment. Or maybe there's some travel that's going to happen this month, even though you don't really travel regularly for your job. Okay. Um, the Knight of Wands can also be about relocation. So some of you might be actually relocating for a job, meaning that, you know, or maybe your spouse is, you, your spouse's job is relocating, so you're following with them, okay? There's a, again, the, the biggest word for the Knight of Wands is change, okay? But also, um, sometimes it means taking risk. So kind of like the Fool. Now the Fool is not the same as the Knight of Wands. The Fool is often somebody that's going to take risk, but they're not usually looking ahead. They're not planning anything. Now, the Knight of Wands is sort of like that, except he's more of a last minute type person. There might be more planning, but it's going to happen spontaneously um, and more excitedly. Where the Fool, he's kind of being naive about something. Where the Knight of Wands is present, you know, you're getting something presented to you and you decide, hey, I'm gonna go for it, okay? So I feel like this is more positive than negative because all cards can be, there's always some challenges and, you know, with each card, even if they're not reversed. So with the Knight of Wands, some of the challenges can be reckless, you know, with decision making because everything's about, you know, let's go, hurry up, you know, I wanna do this. Um, sort of like the Knight of Swords, except the Knight of Swords is all about just jumping into there, anger. There's a lot of um, reason behind. There's a lot of action. Um, so the Knight of Wands is a lot of action, but it's more of an adventure. It's more of a, I, I, you know, I'm ready to do this. I'm very passionate, but also a little bit of hot tempered. Okay. So I feel like um, there could be some decisions concerning work or business and there could be a challenge with maybe acting without thinking 
uh, wanting to kind of just jump ahead, but I actually feel that whatever decision that you make is going to be more positive because you do have positive cards next to it. Even though they are different categories, I still go by whichever cards are negative or positive has more of an influence on the card next to it, okay? So if you were to have, let's say, the Knight of Wands next to the Tower and the Three of Swords, I would say that this risk taking with this business or job decision is going to be less likely in your favor if you're not very careful um, or less likely to be successful. So let's go to your next category, which is the Ace of Coins. And this category is for money and finance for you. So as you know, the, the coins are usually associated with money or finances, okay? And with the Ace of Coins, especially coming after your work in business, I feel like whatever decision that you make concerning work or these big changes or sudden quick changes, um, things coming and going, I think this is gonna give you a lot of um, concrete results, okay? There's a lot of focus on results. Um, the Ace of Coins is also about keeping finances grounded. Um, a lot of you might be deciding to become more humble if you haven't been, um, being more practical with your money. Um, and because, again, the Knight of Wands could be related to relocation and travel with work, um, this could be if you do move for work or for job or you, or you might travel out of the state or out of the city or out of the country for a business venture or something like that, or some kind of, um, it's kind of early today, where's my mind today? <laughs> if there's some kind of meeting that you have with a company or a business partner, this is gonna go extremely well, I believe, because the Ace of Coins is a more positive card. Um, but in general, I feel like a lot of your finances are going to definitely improve this month. Um, if you have been struggling with money, um, I feel like it's going to get better this month. I'm not going to sit here and promise, oh, you're going to win the lottery, or it, you know, you're, if you gamble, you're going to win. Now, you're most likely to get something. Um, I will say that. But I, I, well, one thing that I never do as a reader is I never say you're going to win the lottery, or you're going to um, you're going to get millions of dollars, or you're going to be super rich. In order for me to see something like that, I have to get my visions as well as a bigger card spread, okay, or a specific question asking that and the supporting cards. But again, wealth and riches can come in different forms. You might be having an opportunity that is presented to you that opens up for you to be to encounter doing something that brings in a lot of money over time. It may not come all at once overnight, but something is going to be presented to you where that money starts to come in, okay? Because I don't like to promise people that money is just gonna come out of nowhere and you're going to get a sudden windfall. I don't like doing windfall readings. <laughs> but regardless, this um, reading, uh, when it comes to, or the, sorry, this category, the Ace of Coins, looks very prosperous for you. I'm not seeing a loss of money. I am seeing an increase of money, whether this is a raise or a bonus that you get, or perhaps some of you are on vacation and you don't have to worry about money because you you made enough where you can take more time off possibly. I know school is starting for a lot of people are getting ready for their kids to go back to school. Um, but regardless, this does look very good for you. Uh, some of you might be actually thinking about starting something new, um, whether it's something uh, starting something new on the side or starting a business with somebody. And again, because you know the work category can often be related to the finances. It may not be though, but a lot of times it is. So because that's how you make your money usually, unless you're doing something different on the side or a family member comes and helps you or someone you know, et cetera, et cetera, or maybe your spouse. So again, if you're not working, um, somebody that you live with, a family member or a spouse or your partner, your husband or wife, et cetera, or maybe your older adult child starts to bring in more money and this kind of helps you in some way, okay? Um, but. And mainly this card is also about security and abundance. So I feel that, and prosperity. So most of you will be doing pretty well this month, okay? We are in the beginning of the month, so I'm trying to get all the readings out. I know I've been very um, late on, and, and I think I missed everyone's reading last month. I was very busy, very, very sorry. Um, so let's jump to your uh, love and relationships category, which is the world card. Normally, I have, I usually pull two cards per category, and I usually do more categories, but um, this month I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit more simple and short because 
I feel like I'll get them all out in time if I do it that way just for this month because I have been very busy, very, very, I keep apologizing, but I am very sorry. Um, so with the world card, um, the world card is, you know, you guys have a lot of, you have not a lot, but you have two travel cards here. So when you have the Knight of Wands and a reading and the world card to me, and sometimes another travel card is often the Six of Swords, depending on the category, etc. Um, I do feel like there's definitely travel involved for some of you, um, whether it's by car or by plane or by water, okay? Um, with regards to relationships, though, um, it's not just a travel card, but the world card is about um, gaining a lot of accomplishments, um, especially regarding relationships. There might have been a relationship that you feel has kind of done its full circle um, where you feel like you've accomplished something with some sort of relationship. I'm picking up right now that a lot of you, uh, if you've had any problems with a certain person in your life, I feel like you've been ready to let them go, if that makes sense to you. Like, like uh, for those of you who have been dealing with maybe trying to get over someone or maybe you lost someone that you love, by you know fatalities or you know death etc um, or maybe they broke up with you I feel like you're suddenly now getting over it um, or this month is going to help you try to um, get better with 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 mourning etc of course take your time that's easier said than done I'm not one of those people that say oh just get over it you know get over that person they loved you etc um, especially when there's a death um, take all the time you need because when it comes to mourning somebody um, there's no such thing as a certain time when you're over it. In fact, you never get over that. So, um, but I feel like it, with relationships, if you want to know about romance, what I'm getting here is a lot of you people might end up meeting somebody through long distance, most likely for some of you. Or if you have been long distance with somebody, I feel like you're going to visit that person soon or that you're going to make plans to go see them, even if they're not that far away. Maybe they're a few hours away. Um, however, there's a lot of uh, communication this month. Um, also, I feel like there's a lot of finding contentment. Like I was saying, um, maybe you and your husband or you and your wife or your spouse or your partner, there's a lot of, um, especially this month, a feeling of things becoming closer for you guys feeling like you accomplished something together. So if you are already with somebody, I feel like this is going to be a month where a lot of more closeness, uh, feelings of more happiness, as if you guys bond more this month. Okay, even if you've been with this person for 20 or 10 years or five years, I feel like this month for many of you, there's going to be a feeling of fulfillment with your relationship that you already are in. And, any, and if you are single, I feel like you will meet somebody, but Again, I'm picking up on someone long distance and also the cards there. There is two travel cards, so it doesn't always mean travel, but the world card is associated with um, travel and or, you know, distance, okay, um, the way I read it. <laughs> um, this card is also about achieving success, so I feel like a lot of you guys that are trying to maybe get closer to somebody, maybe it's a family member you haven't spoken to in a while, there's a lot of getting together, there's a lot of bringing together. Um, there's a lot of um, becoming more involved with family and friends. And I really feel like this is going to be positive because the world card is generally a positive card on its own, okay? So um, I do see, uh, uh, you guys have a really good reading so far, okay? So let's go to your advice card this month. And this is the last card of the reading. So your advice card is the high priestess. Now the high priestess is usually a card of um, intuition. Um, she's all about knowing something. Uh, sometimes this card is about, is known to be the card of keeping secrets. Um, but I feel like what the advice that she's giving to a lot of you, because your reading is generally positive, okay, based on all the three cards that I have. So I feel like it's saying to maybe use your intuition and follow your heart this month. Um, but do not ignore what it is that you um, are being drawn to, because you know, this month looks very beneficial for a lot of you. So it's important to allow um, personal development by letting what is there to grow and continue to grow, okay? Um, so just kind of go with the flow because um, sometimes this card is a card of non-action, like don't do anything, but I do feel that it's also telling a lot of you to try not to change what is happening. 
So maybe that is the non-action that she's saying. Try not to change anything. Let what is happening happen because things are happening for a really big reason, okay? And I feel like part of the advice of this card is also whatever you're thinking, you're already right, okay? You already know the answer. If you're like, hmm, should I get with that guy? Or hmm, should I get with that girl? Um, probably so, or, or probably not. Listen to your intuition because you know that voice in our head that always tells us what we should or shouldn't do? Um, I also think part of the voices that we hear besides is our own is also part of our spirit guides. They just come in the form of our voice a lot, unless you're one of those people that can actually hear your spirit guides or angels, whoever it is that you believe is telling you, God, Jesus, whatever. Um, I really feel like the high priestess is telling you guys to listen to your gut feeling or your intuition, your spirit guides, etc. Um, as we all know, like I said, 99% of the time, it's always right. So uh, follow your intuition this month, okay? But everything looks pretty well for you guys. So um, I would say enjoy your month this month. And I'm not seeing any, um, of course, this reading, again, doesn't resonate with everybody. But overall, this is a pretty good reading. So um, anyhow, that is your reading, Leo. And if you would like your own personal reading from me, my link is below in the description bar. And you can book a reading with me. And thank you all for listening to me. I'll see you on my next video.